I've got to point to it. Five minutes, 30 seconds to go in the first quarter of the Collingwood Eston game when Jack Ginnivan yep. didn't get that free kick. Every other player in the competition would have got that free kick. What were you feeling when you saw that, Lee? I mean, what, what, what emotion was going through your, uh, your body? I felt sick. Sick? I, I felt sick because the fabric of our game, one, the fabric of the game is umpires t- uh, uh, treating every player the same. Yeah. Okay, you know that if a player is, uh, you know, what plays for free kicks, does certain things, okay, umpires might take it into their own hands to make sure it's abs- an absolute certainty. But that, I mean, that was virtually a high, not only a high contact headlock, it was bordering on unduly rough play from, Ma- from Mason Redmond. And the best umpire in the game, Max Stevick, didn't blow the whistle. Now, I didn't blame Stevick. I thought to myself, what are they doing to our game? And when I say they, I mean Richard Goiter in the commission, who are the only, only uh, body that can actually change rules, and Gillan McLaughlin and his coaching co- co- cohort of advisors that are making the game easier for the tackler and harder for the bloke with the ball. And the fact that, that Jack Ginnivan was – he was victimised. Yep. Uh, I, I would uh, – I'd love to speak to Matt Stevick, uh, not saying consciously victimised, but when he saw Jack Ginnivan take possession – and when he saw him being tackled, his first thought was to look at Jack Inovan. What did he do? Did he lower his body height? Did he do? I mean, I mean, even if you lower your body height a fraction when you sense the tackler coming, that's kind of automatic. But he seemed to be watching Ginnivan, not what the tackler did. And that's the fabric of our game, Jerry. And I was, I was anything from uh, disillusioned to uh, disappointed to angry to shocked. It got my blood boiling. And frankly, two, two days later, it does. We had an outstanding round of footy. Yep. Not that I, I sort of swore when I stopped coaching about 13 or 14 years ago, I'm not going to let footy get to me. Like, don't let, don't let the emotion get too much. Yep, yep. But I love the game. I don't love I, – I, I've been involved in three clubs now. So I, I'm still involved with the Lions. I hope the Lions win. I love the game more than I love any club these days yep. because I've been around the footy world a long time. And what is being done to the game in its very fabric of looking after the player with the ball is, is being put as a lower priority to stopping players from playing for free kicks. So why wouldn't you blame... Matt Stevick, Lee, you said a moment or so ago. he's been influenced. Umpires only do what they're told to do. And he's and last week it was pretty clear, wasn't it? If it looks like a player somehow, I mean, I can, I can, I can, I can live and certain support. If you duck your head into contact, that that's a different movement. But as a tackler is approaching you and you sort of almost hunch your shoulders and t- pull your head in virtually, I mean, we all do it as players. We all do it because you kind of and, – and when you sense a tackler coming, you bend your knees a little bit so that you've got some balance because you're never sure whether you're going to go left, right. Like You, you don't stand upright. No Make one stands upright and allows to be tackled. Anyway, so – but this was, this was one example. That's where the game has got to. That's what I thought. Max Devick, the umpire – it seems like – I'd love to know with Max Devick, whether Max Devick thinks he's made a mistake. In other words, or is that what the rules are now? This is what the game is saying. We want the umpires to umpire. That's what disturbed me the most. And I think that's probably what Matt Stevy could say. He saw him drop a little bit. But if you look at that vision in slow-mo, the tackle was almost a bowling action. It wouldn't have mattered how high he was. He was coming over the top. He was going from high to low. And this has been my great beef, and it's got me angry, Lee, that the AFL and Dan Richardson, whoever put out that nonsensical uh, explanation last week, the comedic explanation is how I've turned it, they at no stage put any onus on the tackler, none whatsoever. Well, that's it. That is, and that's what I mean. This is the principle we're talking about. That's I mean. I mean, Matt Stebbick, best umpire in the game. He's more watching what uh, what uh, Ginneman was doing yep. with the ball than he was where he was concentrating on what the tackler did. Because, uh, but that, but that umpires have been encouraged to do that. They're saying, oh, if he lifts his shoulder or he ducks his head or he lowers his body heights. I mean, so all of, all of a sudden, the guy with the ball is under scrutiny. Can we scrutinise the damn tackler every now and again? Lee, I've worked with you for about 20 years. I can't remember you being as emotive on an issue, a single issue, as this particular one. And I know it's been something that you've fought long and hard for, the uh, the protection of the ball player. 
it seems like you feel like you must be losing a battle here. Absolutely. Uh, the support the tackler lobby has won a significant battle. I hope they haven't won the war, but they've certainly won a significant battle. Though it's one free kick. It's only one free kick. I don't get... That's like, a principle, though, kicks, isn't it? It's a symbolic gesture, a symbolic free kick that's showing this is where the game is. And the fact that it wasn't... The fact that I, I think the people uh, running the AFL and the umpiring, yep. they, they said, oh, yeah, it was probably a free kick. Not, of course it was a free kick. And it was a free kick. It's been the free kick for the last 100 years, and I'd hope it'd be a free kick for the next 100. But, as I say, the fabric of the game's being attacked, in my view, Jared. So, yeah, I am, I am disturbed. So, uh, I, I've i calmed down a little bit. Yep. I couldn't sleep Sunday night. I don't know why I was thinking. It was a bloody one free kick, yep. and I couldn't sleep Sunday night thinking about it. I mean, it's the symbolism of it yep. uh, that, that is just, just disturbs me.